Hello and welcome to the third episode of Pandas for Beginners. In the first two episodes, we took a look at football or soccer data sets, comparing Ronaldo and Messi. And we learned a lot about pandas and how to analyze data. In the first episode, in the second episode, we learned how to clean that data. And now in this third episode, we are going to take a look at the top 1000 IMDb movies and learn how to analyze this, how to get some insights from this. So you can go to Kaggle.com, look for this uh, data set, which has been uploaded by Anuj uh, Singh. Thanks to Anuj for that. And you can either download it or you can simply click on new no notebook. And what it does is that it will create a environment for you here. So it will also uh, get you the NumPy, Pandas and something for directory. You just need to run this first. You can change the name here as well. And then we need to read our CSV file. How do we do that? Well, we need to have the, the path. So you just click on this and click here, copy file path so you know where the file is. And then as always, we read it into a data frame, df equals pandas.read underscore CSV. And then you paste in the file path and this will be it. So shift enter and it runs it. Now let's just check the overview of the data frame by this method.info so that we know how many columns and rows we have. So this is a data frame, 1000 rows and 16 columns. You can see the names of the columns and these are all full except the meta score which has around 157 missing values. But we are not going to need all of these columns. I think I'll go only for and the name of the movie, the genre, the rating, uh, the director, stars of the movie and the income, the gross. So to select only the subset, we choose a variable df equals df, that is our old df, which contain all the columns. And we are going to pass in another, that is two pairs of brackets, because we are going to use multiple columns now. And just paste in the names of the columns you want and press shift enter or simply press on this and now we have a new column with these names we have a new data frame with these columns let's just check it by dot head in the first three rows and you can see the name genre rating and all that so i can see the genre we have drama crime action but how many different genres are here under this column um, to check that, we can go to the column df bracket genre dot value counts to count the different values there are here. If I run this, you will see we have 289 drama movies under the drama genre, 172 under action. So you can see these four are the top drama, action, comedy, and crime. So most of the movies under this list are under this, these genres. Okay, that's some piece of information. You know that drama movies have been more successful apparently, or maybe just because there are more of them. Then let's also check um, who has acted the most under star one, the main character. Who's the guy who's appeared the most under star one in this column? So we go into star one dot value counts and we want the first 10 rows. So let's just run this. Tom Hanks apparently has appeared 12 times as the main character and then Robert De Niro and others. So Tom Hanks has appeared the most under star one. Now you can check for the star two and others as well. You can also check the last ones by tail method. And you can see these are the people who have appeared in the last rows. Then we can also check which movies Tom Hanks has starred in. So we can put a filter, like we call it fill, and we can say DF under star one, DF equals Tom Hanks. That is under star one, whenever that a column, a value is equal to Tom Hanks, it, is, it means it's true, otherwise it's false. 
So we can go into our data frame and check for this filter, for this true false filter. Now, if I run this, you see I have a whole data frame where Tom Hanks has starred as the main character. But let's say I don't need all this information. I only want the movies where Tom Hanks, uh, I only want the name of the movies in this data frame. So when we want to be this specific, we can use the dot lock method to locate something. So we want to locate the rows where this filter applies, comma, and out of all these rows, I want only the series title values. So this is how dot lock works. You give the rows and you get the columns and it gives you the result back. So now we have Forrest Gump, Saving Private Ryan and all. Now, again, I'm so obsessed with uh, the appearances and the acting of Tom Hanks and the performance. So I wanna check in which columns the name has been mentioned, Tom Hanks. Uh, for example, I don't know, under star one, two, three, four, under director, where has it been mentioned? So to check that, we can use this. Let me show you how it works. So we can say under list, Tom Hanks is in method DF. So we wanna check if Tom Hanks is in the data frame. Now, if I run this, we get a whole data frame with all true false values. I don't want this. I want to get to see which is true and which is false, which of these columns has Tom Hanks in it and which doesn't. So for that, I use dot any method. Dot any gives me any time that he has been mentioned in any of these columns. So if I run this, I get this. False, false under all these, except under all these three. Star one and star two and star three is true. There's Tom Hanks has been mentioned in these. Now, how do I get all those rows where Tom Hanks has been mentioned in these all these columns? So to check that, I put the same as a condition because we have now true false, right? So we put this condition here inside the data frame because we want to get the, all the, the, the data and we want to check, but the catch is inside any, you need to put one to get only the true ones. So here it means they get the true ones anytime Tom Hanks has been mentioned in a row, uh, Tom Hanks has been mentioned in a row in a data frame, grab that row for me. Now let's run this and now look, Tom Hanks star one and here star two and go down star three. So you see, now we get all the rows where Tom Hanks, all the movies where Tom Hanks has acted in. What about the genres? I want to check also the genres now. The genres of the movies Tom Hanks has, has acted in. So we're getting more specific, right? That's why we're using dot lock method now. So we are saying that, let me get rid of this. We are saying that you should go locate within that frame, locate this condition anytime, which is true, anytime where Tom Hanks is in the data frame, that is the rows. So which, wherever, whichever rows Tom Hanks uh, is mentioned in, right? For example, this one here, the rows. Give me the genre of that row here. So this will be given. So this is like at the crossroads, right? So this is how it works. And now if I run this, you see drama, drama, crime, animation, animation, but I want a value count of this, not like this. So I would say, give me the a value count, how many times? So Tom Hanks has acted in four dramas, four animations, three adventures, two crimes, and one biography. So easy, great. This is another lengthier way since we know Tom Hanks has starred in like star one, two, and three, we can put a condition, three conditions here. That is under parentheses, if Tom, uh, Tom Hanks has been mentioned under star one, or this is the or operator, it's a bar. 
come access is mentioned in star two or three, and then return that data frame. And then you can see the same here. Now, another thing I can do is maybe I'm looking for two people, Denzel Washington and Tom Hanks. I wanna see which movies they have acted in. So for that, I use is in, and I put a condition like this. So I would say under star one, for example, check if Tom Hanks is in star one or Denzel Washington is in star one and give me those, those rows, right? So I have here Tom Hanks in star one and then Denzel Washington in star one, but under star one only. What if I wanna check all the movies they have acted in as maybe star one, two, three, or four. So any one, right? Any one. So I would choose the whole data frame now instead of only star one. I should check in any rows. If there is a Denzel Washington is in the data frame or Tom Hanks is in there, return that. And this is a list of all the rows where there is Denzel Washington or Tom Hanks. Doesn't matter which column. Now, a very useful concept in Pandas is the group by method, where you can group by a data frame based on certain criteria. For example, maybe I just want to group all these movies based on the genres they belong to, or based on, I don't know, the rating they belong to, or the director. So for that, I use a group by method. Let's check the data types of our data frame first. I will show you why. So we see that we have IMDB rating is a number and gross is also a number and we have these, right? Okay. So what I wanna do, I wanna group by this data frame, group this data frame by genre, based on genre. Now if I run this, so dot group by, parentheses and genre here, if I run this, you see I get a data frame group by. So it's like a data frame with its own methods. So we use, let's use mean, mean to get the average. But average of what? Pandas knows that these two columns are new numbers. So it will do, do a, uh, an, an average mean on these two. So if I run this, I get this. Look at this. So based on genre, now we have grouped them by genre. For example, action. What is the average rating, IMDb rating in the action genre movies? 7.9. What about the money? This much. And you can see all of them. But this, you can see E plus here. It's a scientific notation. To see how much this is, you can just copy this and under in this website, Calculator Soup, you can look for scientific notation converter. And then if you put it in here, press enter, you can see this is a number, $122 million. If you wanna know how to convert it yourself, you can just read the explanations here. Okay, so this E plus means that the number is too large to fit in this small space. And now I want to categorize them Oops, so I would say dot value underscore counts. And you can see we have this one here, or I can look for head as well. I can look for, I can sort the values. I can sort the values based on, for example, gross, the money they made. So I can simply say gross. So it will start from the lowest that is 964,000 on average, a movie within this genre will make, has made, and then goes all the way up to, wow, 21 million or 219 million, uh, the, on average, a movie belonging to this genre has made within those 1,000 movies. So this is also something that we can get based on groups. Now the group that we defined, we can save it into a variable, let's call it genre. And now it's easy because now it's a data frame group by, we can we have these methods, for example, get underscore group. Then we can put in the action and what we get is all the action movies. If you want family, for example, uh, family, 
I cannot spell family apparently. Then we have only these two movies belonging to family. So you can see that this is not a very good representation of this genre because one of them is like this much, I guess uh, I have four million and another one is like this enormous. So ET, the extraterrestrial. So yeah, this is something you can do with a group by. When you have it as a data frame group by, you can get that group as well. And now, and now another interesting thing is we can, because it's based on genre now, we can grab the star one, the number of people who starred as the main characters based on genre now. So now we have genre action, Harrison Ford, Christian Bale, these have appeared the most in this genre of action. And you can see the rest of them here as well. So another thing we can do is, for example, you can specify, I want uh, the action people, right? The people who've acted uh, in action movies. So what you can do is here, use dot lock, the same thing. In under genre, uh, under a star one, count values, then locate drama. So action, mystery, drama, whatever, you can locate these. So it will get you these people. If I run this, you can see I have star one, Shah Khan, for example, Ethan Hawke and all that. And under action, let's see, Harrison Ford, Christian Bell, Joe Russo, Tom Cruise, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then you can also change, I guess this is possible as well, yeah. So you can get these. So that is um, for today. That was a lot of information in around 15 minutes. I hope you liked it. It was oh, very exciting for me to grab all this insight, these insights from this data set. So why don't you do the same? Try this and you can go to my Kaggle and uh, you can just copy it and edit it and work on it as well. I'm going to save it under version six and you can see it here. Okay, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and listening.